The purpose of this module is to enable you to understand the structure of a website and then understand what HTML is. This module covers the following topics. Structure of a website. What is HTML? HTML editors. HTML coding. Structure of an HTML document. Line break element. Cascading style sheets. Background properties. The Internet is a worldwide network of computers. A computer on the Internet that is used for storing and running a website is called a server. Other computers on the Internet are used to access websites on servers. A website consists of web pages that are written in hypertext markup language, HTML. Let us first discuss the structure of a website and then understand what HTML is. A website is composed of three main sections, the home page, the main section, and subsections. The home page is the first page of the website. This page usually tells visitors what the site is about. The main section usually contains the headings for particular areas of the website, whereas the subsections contain most of the content. For example, the structure for a school website may look as shown in the figure below. Hypertext Markup Language, HTML, is a computer language used to create documents, technically called web pages, for display on the World Wide Web. In this chapter, you will learn about HTML5. HTML5 is the new language specification proposed for web pages. This new version attempts to remove the limitations of previous versions. Rules to handle HTML elements and errors have also been added to HTML5. You will learn to create, save, and open an HTML5 document. We will also discuss cascading style sheets, CSS, and background properties. The most striking feature of HTML5 is the facility to play audio and video content without the need for additional software such as the Flash Player. It has new graphics features such as Canvas, which defines the region for drawing within a web page with which you create shapes, graphs, and even animations. Two basic tools are needed to create HTML documents. An HTML editor to create and save the documents and a web browser to view them. There are two main types of HTML editors. WYSI, WYG editors, and text editors. WYSI, WYG editors. WYSI, WYG stands for What You See Is What You Get. WYSI, WYG editors let you create web pages without knowing how to write HTML. They have graphical interfaces and tools to develop web pages, and they allow you to insert images, tables, lists, hyperlinks, etc. Google Web Designer and Adobe Dreamweaver are two of the popular WYSI WYG HTML editors. Microsoft Front Page which was a popular WYSI WYG HTML editor at one time, has been discontinued. The two main advantages of WYSI WYG HTML editors are Websites can be created quickly. Knowledge of HTML tags or commands is not required. Text Editors 
You can also create HTML documents with Notepad, WordPad, or any other text editor. In this case, you need to be familiar with HTML coding. To create an HTML document using Notepad, follow these steps. Open Notepad by selecting Start, then select Windows Accessories, and then select Notepad. The Notepad window will appear. Select File, and then select New from the Notepad menu to create a new document. Type the HTML document exactly as shown in the figure below. Select File, and then choose the option Save As. In the Save As dialog box, choose the location where you wish to save the document. Enter the file name with the extension .htmor .html and click Save. Viewing HTML documents in a web browser. You can use any web browser, say Internet Explorer or Firefox, to view an HTML document. To view an HTML document in Internet Explorer, follow these steps. Open Internet Explorer. Select File and then select Open. The Open dialog box is displayed. Click Browse. A file selection dialog box will appear. Select the HTML file you just created. Click Open. The Open dialog box will reappear. Click OK and you will see the file in Internet Explorer. HTML Elements and Tags A web page is made up of HTML elements, and HTML elements are identified by HTML tags. An HTML tag always begins with a less than sign and ends with a greater than sign. These are also called the left angle bracket and the right angle bracket respectively. In other words, an HTML tag is enclosed between angle brackets. For example, the tag for making the text bold is the B tag. We put the B tag before the text that we want to format in bold. This is the opening tag or the on tag. We put the slash B tag after this text. This is the closing tag or the off tag. The off tag is the same as the on tag except that it has a forward slash after the less than sign. So, to make the text HTML tag bold, you will type the following in the text editor. Opening B tag, followed by the text HTML tag, and then the closing B tag. When you view the web page in a browser, you will find the text formatted in bold. An HTML element consists of the opening tag, the closing tag, and everything in between. Some elements do not have a closing tag. Container elements. HTML elements that include both on and off tags are called container elements. For example, the B element. The tag to your left is the on tag, while the tag to your right is the off tag. Empty elements. HTML elements that have only an on tag and do not require an off tag are called empty elements. For example, the BR tag, which is used to give a line break, does not require a closing tag. Another example is the horizontal rule tag HR. HTML attributes. Attributes give us extra information about elements. They are always specified inside the start tag and have a name value pair. For example, the SRC attribute of the IMG tag is used to specify the URL of the image. An example of this is IMG SRC equal to flower.gif. HTML rules. There are some rules for writing HTML codes. Tag names 
and attribute names are not case sensitive. For example, the body tag in uppercase is the same as the body tag in lowercase. However, using lowercase is recommended. Attribute values should always be enclosed within quotes. Double quotes are the most common, but single quotes are also allowed. Attribute values can be case sensitive. The World Wide Web Consortium, W3C, the body that develops standards and specifications for HTML documents, recommends lowercase attribute values. Spaces between tags do not matter. All the three examples below will give the same result. Tag names cannot contain spaces. Also, there should be no space between the opening and closing brackets in a tag. Elements can be nested. For instance, we can italicize text and also make it bold. Look at the example given below. However, the following is incorrect. Care must be taken to ensure that the closing tags are in the reverse order to the opening tags. That is, the innermost opening tag should be closed first. An HTML document contains two distinct parts, head and body. The head section contains information about the document. The body section contains everything that is displayed on the web page. It includes text, graphics, etc. Here is the basic structure of an HTML5 document. An HTML document starts with a doc type element followed by the HTML opening tag. Then we have the head element within which the title and other information about the document is specified. Next comes the body element and finally the closing HTML tag. The doc type element. This element is the starting element in an HTML document and specifies the type of document, which is an HTML document in this case. It is an empty element and does not have a closing tag. HTML element. The HTML element is written after the doc type element and defines the document as an HTML file. It is a container element. The document starts with an opening HTML tag and ends with a closing HTML tag. A browser will interpret everything that comes in between as an HTML document. An HTML element contains only the head and body elements. They, in turn, can contain other elements. Head element. The head element is a container element that includes identification and additional information about the document. Most of this is not displayed. Title element. The title element has the title of your web page. This is the title that is displayed in the title bar when you view the page in a browser. It is a container element. Each head element should contain a title element. Body element. The body element has the main content of your web page. It includes text, images, etc. Line break element. The browser does not recognize paragraph formatting in HTML text. If you want to start a new line, you need to insert a line break with BR. This element has no end tag. Let us consider an example. Type the following HTML code in Notepad, save the document as an HTML file, and open it in a browser. You will notice that though our text is in three paragraphs, the browser displays it as a single paragraph. In order to start a new line, we need to use the BR tag. Insert BR tags in the same HTML document as shown below. The browser shows paragraphs now. You can also use the BR tag to skip a line 
or multiple lines. Insert three BR tags in a row, as shown in the following figure, and check the result. Cascading Style Sheets, or CSS, is a style sheet that provides the set of style rules for displaying HTML elements in a web page. CSS helps multiple web pages of a website to share the same formatting. Also, it provides more flexibility and control in the manner in which the content is presented on a web page. CSS styles can be included in an HTML document in one of the following ways. Using external style sheets, using embedded style sheets, using inline styles. The syntax of a CSS rule is as follows. Selector, property 1, colon, selector, property 1, colon, property 1, value, semicolon. Property 2, colon, property 2, value, semicolon. Properties and their values are separated by colons, while properties and property value pairs are separated by semicolons. All properties and their values are enclosed by curly brackets. Here, selector stands for the HTML element for which the rule is defined. Property 1, property 2, etc. represents properties or attributes of the element. Property 1 value, property 2 value, etc. represent values assigned to the properties. For example, body, background color, pink, background repeat, repeat X. The above code specifies that the background color of the web page is pink and the background image is repeated X times. In this chapter, we will learn about background properties and create an HTML document with embedded style sheets. Background properties are used to set the background style of an HTML element. The different background properties that can be defined in an HTML document are explained in the table below. Setting the background color. The background color property allows you to set the background color of the HTML element or document. For example, the background color yellow has been set for the body element here. The output in Internet Explorer is shown in the figure below, setting the background image. You can enhance the background of the HTML document by adding a picture in the background using the background image property. Consider the following HTML document. The background image flower Dot JPEG is specified for the body element with the attachment property set to fixed and the repeat property set to repeat. The output in Internet Explorer is shown in the figure below. Let us now do a small exercise. Choose the correct option for each of the questions that follow.